Well, back to the Premier. Last year was a windfall for Hydro One execs. The Millionaires Club is a sight to behold. The President and CEO, Mayor Schmidt, Mayo Schmidt, $6.2 million in speaker. That's after an increase just this year alone. The increase is $1.7 million. Wow. Wow. The former CFO, $1.2 million. The uh, senior vice president and acting CFO, just under a million. The COO made $2.1 million. Yeah. One executive vice president made $2 million and another $1.9 million. This, this is outrageous, Speaker. They all make more money than the CAOs of any other hydro company. Mr. Speaker, will the, while the average family struggles to make ends meet, how does the Premier justify paying her millionaire's club? Thank you, Minister. Mr. Speaker. Once again, um, Hydro One's rates continue to be set by the Ontario Energy Board, Mr. Speaker. And when taking this into consideration, the board is the energy sector's independent regulator with a mandate to protect the province's electricity consumers, and it continues to deliver on its mandate. So, for instance, last fall, the board capped the portion of executive compensation at Hydro One um, for electricity customers, and they're required to fund that at 10% of base salaries, saving ratepayers $30 million over this year and next, Mr. Speaker. And we understand. We understand that affordability is critical for families and businesses, which is why we launched the Fair Hydro Plan, which reduced rates by 25 per cent on average for all residential customers and as many as a half a million small businesses and farms, Mr. Speaker. Once yes, again, it is important to emphasize that this salary is only paid if aggressive performance targets are met, targets that lead to more affordable bills for ratepayers.